was most impressed because what Minister Spot has been doing by carefully managing the finances for, for this road, they've managed to save enough money to fix the entire road into the village. Um, approximately 2.4 miles is going to be lift, a section is going to be um, lifted about five feet from where it is right now with the filling with fill and also it's going to be paved. The last mile was not going to be paved simply because um, that area will be need, will, we will be needing a lot of work and quite likely we may have to build a causeway because of, of, of the water that how the water runs and, and, and the ground, the subsoil is, is, is very soft. So that will take a little bit more of studies and even looking at the connection between the uh, Crooked Tree Lagoon and the and the Northern Lagoon in, in the Orange Walk District. And they were pointing out to me that these two are connected, but in some instances that the water from the Northern Lagoon flows into Crooked Tree Lagoon and creates even more flooding. So they're thinking of even maybe having to put a dam there to, to control the flow of the water. So that was very exciting. And of course, then I went to visit the, um, the museum that they have at the at Crooked Tree. And, and I found out that, um, that in the Crooked Tree, they found evidence of people living there even before the Mayas, like about 10,000 years ago. And to me, that's like, well, I didn't realize, the first time I heard about 